we're getting a first-hand look at a new exhibit here in Jamestown that's honoring a comedy legend, Betty White. Who better to tell that story than our in-house Golden Girl expert, <laughs> Dakota Hunter? Well, Justin, this was one of the best assignments I've done in quite a while. From wardrobe pieces to Emmy Awards, there was a lot to see of famed comedian Betty White as a part of a new display at the National Comedy Center preserving her life and legacy. Like Lucille Ball, Betty White's comedic craft stands the test of time. Their bodies of work are so relevant even today. They were truly masters of the craft of comedy and they made it seem so effortless. One of the things that made Betty White so unique was the fact that she connected generations of fans throughout the decades. Take a look at the uh, display here. We first start off with the gown that Betty White wore during the 1986 Emmy Awards to the St. Olaf sweater worn Worn by Betty White in the uh, spin-off of the Golden Girls called the Golden Palace in the 90s, then to the tracksuit Betty wore in Hot in Cleveland in the 2000s. She was the first and only actress to win Emmys in all three comedy ca categories and that those include lead, supporting, and guest actress. The Golden Girls' eight Emmy Awards adds to the already accumulating collection at the National Comedy Center. We just opened up Carl Reiner Keep Laughing this past summer, and we have, um, I believe it's 12 of his Emmys on display. So Betty is in good company here at the National Comedy Center. Her collection also features hand-annotated scripts. However, those are not currently on display. A lot of folks who are those huge fans are going to be very inclined to come to Jamestown and see these wonderful pieces of comedy history on display. I think that we see a lot of that um, with Lucy fans too. Now all of these elements will be permanently archived at the Comedy Center with the new exhibit now open to visitors. Tickets can be purchased online at ComedyCenter.org. Justin. Yeah, it's such an awesome uh, story and uh, like I mentioned, who better to, to tell it. Uh, I loved it. Yeah, having Betty White stuff here in Jamestown as a fan of the Golden Girls, long time, forever. Mm -hmm. uh, well, what does that mean to you? I mean. Well, you know, to me, I think it's just amazing, especially that St. Olaf sweater, because, yeah. you know, even though that was not in the official Golden Girls, it was in the spinoff called the Golden Palace, but still, that's Rose Nyland, and right. I mean, you know, Rose, you know, with her St. Olaf stories, and, you know, Rose actually was smarter than a lot of people think. She played dumb, but she was very smart. Yeah, and I think it's cool, and as we mentioned in your report, Betty White did have a knowledge of, of Lucille Ball. Mm -hmm. so They were really good friends yeah. in real life. So she's here in Jamestown now, uh, her stuff, and continuing that legacy. And uh, the Comedy Center, you know, they'll keep it forever.